key questions when you diagnose PH. The first one is separate pre from post capillary because it's relevant. If you have pre capillary, you have drugs, you have a strategy, you have genetics. If you have post capillary, you have no drugs, you have no strategy, you have no genetics. Mm. So you need to treat the underlying cause. Post capillary, you recognize and treat the underlying cause, which may be valve disease, coronary disease, amyloidosis, structural heart disease, arrhythmia, all these conditions, you know very well, pacemakers and so forth also create post-capillary disease anyways. The second question is to separate PAH from CTEPH because CTEPH goes a completely different route, has a much different prognosis, much different treatments, more interventional. This example that I'm showing here, and I'm sure you have more, illustrates two patients with very high pulmonary pressures. The one on the left side has left heart disease with a big left atrium. The one on the right side has pulmonary arterial hypertension with a small left atrium. So the size of the left atrium is pointing to a direction. Mm -hmm. You don't have a problem there, but people might find that useful. Yes. So look at the left atrium to classify or to get a echocardiographic guidance, whether this might be pre or post capillary page. You have to do a catheter to understand for sure. There's no way other than the catheter to differentiate.